<laughs> oh, uh, I was just checking. It's not important. Let me introduce myself. My name is Russell Hoppenstein. I'm the HSP Wireless Infrastructure Application Manager at Texas Instruments. And, well, I use my phone all the time, and so does everybody else around here. So you can imagine some of the capacity issues that the providers have when everybody's trying to access their smartphones at the same time all day long. And for me, as a user, well, I demand some pretty high services. I want video to be streaming. I need to transfer large work files to and from home and to work. Uh, social media, gaming, all these kinds of things are, are putting a data rate limitation uh, on the network. But Texas Instrument has the answer. It's the new ADC 32 RF45. This is a dual channel, 14 bit resolution, 3 giga sample per second ADC. Now, with this device, we can now capture signals that are 1 gigahertz wide and beyond. This one can do up to 1.5 gigahertz. And we can operate this device uh, in the first, second, or even third NyQuist zone, all the way up to 4 gigahertz, covering all of the telecommunication bands. But bandwidth in and of itself, well, that's nice. It's not the whole story. If we're talking about a high-end communication system, we need high dynamic range as well. And this ADC 32 RF45 has that as well. So we need to be able to support high signals, like if there's a blocker or some kind of interference. But we also need to be able to support low signals so that we can discern very uh, small signals that are uh, outside of the noise, so we can pick it up uh, from within the noise. And this device has a very low noise floor to go with it. So if we put those things together with high bandwidth and high dynamic range, we have a very interesting part that can service the high-end communication systems. You want to take a closer look? All right, come here. Let me show you. Let's come closer. Here's the ADC 32 RF45 EVM. The device right here, that's the part. With this part, it's a complete RF sampling solution. The EVM itself has onboard clocking solutions, the JESD interface that interfaces with our capture tool, the TSW14J56, power management for powering the device off a single power jack, and our input signals. Let's take a closer look inside the device. It has a 3 dB input bandwidth at 3 gigahertz. It's an interleaved ADC with integrated interleave correction. You can go to bypass mode in which you can use the full Nyquist zone bandwidth or as an option, you can use the dual DDCs with decimation filters and integrated NCOs and a JSD204B interface. Now let me show you an example of the kind of signals that we can support with this device. Here's a case where I'm using a signal that's one gigahertz wide. It's comprised of these four groupings and each grouping has 10 20 megahertz wide LTE carriers. Each grouping is separated by approximately 65 megahertz. So if you put it all together, we've got 40 carriers of 20 megahertz LTE signals, and it comprises a total of 1 gigahertz of bandwidth. So this is an example of something where we've got a very high multi carrier situation or a multi-mode type situation. The center of the band is at 2.2 gigahertz, so we're operating in the second Nyquist zone. So this type of device, the ADC 32 RF45 from Texas Instruments, it's got the bandwidth capabilities to support very large bandwidth for next generation systems. It's got the high dynamic range capability to support high-end telecommunication applications. Thanks for watching. 
and happy sampling.